good day. Today we are going to focus on the infantry system. So we are told to calculate these unknowns. So the first one, errors and purchases, which is in letter E. We are not giving it. So how do we get it? So to get the purchases, what you need to do is, uh, we are given the opening stock, uh, carriage and purchases, cost of goods available. So now how do we get the cost of goods available? To get the cost of goods available, we say opening stock. plus the purchases. So if there were any returns, you must subtract them, fr them from the purchases. And then also, um, yeah. And then plus the carriage on purchases is equal to the cost of goods available for sale. Okay. So we are given the opening stock area 60,000 plus the purchases are not given, which are letter A, plus the carriages, which are 8,000 rand, which is equal to the cost of goods, which is 198,000. So when you transfer all of this uh, to this side, you are going to have 198,000 minus 68,000. So which is going to be 180,000, right? Now, letter P, now how do we find letter P? So to find letter P, uh, which is the cost of sales. So the cost of sales, um, it is the opening stock plus the purchases, plus the carriage on purchases, and then minus the closing stock. So, but then the opening stock plus the purchases plus the carriage on purchases, they give you the cost of goods available, right? So, meaning that we can just say cost of goods available minus the closing stock is equal to the cost of sales. Now, cost of goods available is 198. The closing stock, closing stock, which is 55,000. So, which is going to give you 198,000 minus 55,000, which is 143,000. That is uh, the cost of sales. So the cost of sales P is equal to 143,000, right? And then now we are looking for the gross profit on the cost of sales. So the gross profit on cost of sales, we say gross profit, gross profit over cost of sales times 100 is equal to. The gross profit, how much is the gross profit? So to get the gross profit, we must say sales minus cost of sales. So the sales, they are 214,500 minus the cost of sales, they are 143,000 over cost of sales, which is 143,000 times 100, right? Which is equal to 214,500 minus 143,000 This is 71,500 divided by 143,000 multiplied by 100 that is 50%. So this means that the markup on cost is 50%, which is letter C. C, C is equal to 50%, right? And then now we're moving to D. Okay, let me first uh, 
remove this because we have calculated. We have to remove this. Okay, so just going to go there now. Now let me just finish erasing this. Almost done. Almost done. Okay. Let's continue. Now we are looking for letter T. So which is the cost of goods available for sales? So to get them, we must say opening stock D, opening stock, which is fifty six thousand plus the purchases plus the carriage and purchases, then that is how we get the cost of goods available. So therefore D is equal to Six thousand plus one twenty thousand plus seven point five. That is going to be one eighty three thousand five hundred. So that is your T. And then letter E, which is a closing stock. Now, how do we find a closing stock? So we know that um opening stock plus the purchases plus the carriages minus closing stock is equal to the cost of sales, right? But then we know that these uh, three, they give you the cost of goods available. So, which is 183,500. Okay, let's do it like this. Okay, so we know that, um, okay, we know that the cost of sales, right, is equal to um, opening stock plus purchases plus the carriage on purchases, which are the cost of goods available, right? Cost of goods available. Cost of goods minus the closing stock. So this is how we find the cost of sales, right? So the cost of sales they are already given here. They are under five thousand five hundred equal to cost of goods available. Uh, we have it. It's one eighty three thousand five hundred closing stock. This is what we are looking for, which is letter E. Right. So now let's transpose this. So if we transpose this, we are going to have. One third five thousand five hundred minus one eighty three thousand five hundred. This is going to be a negative forty eight thousand. Which is going to be negative e. So e is equal to uh, forty eight thousand. So therefore, the closing stock um, of business B is forty eight thousand. Now we are looking for the sales. So, and we are given the markup. Is forty percent. So let's calculate the sales. The cost of sales. This is letter F. The cost of sales. They are one thirty five thousand five hundred multiplied by. So what we know is that cost price plus markup is equal to seven five. Right, and the cost price is always a hundred. So the markup is forty percent. So therefore, the selling price is equal to one forty percent, right? So now we are given the cost of sales. So below we put what we have. So what we have is the cost of sales. So which is the cost price of hundred percent? And then what we are looking for, we put it above. So what we are, we are looking for is the sales, which is one forty percent. So therefore, F is equal to. One thirty five thousand five hundred multiplied by one forty divided by hundred. That is one eight nine seven hundred. Okay, and then now we're looking for G. 
So G is a gross profit on 10 over. 10 over, they're talking about the sales here. Gross profit on sales. So the gross profit, so we're going to have gross profit. Right? All over sales times 100. That is G. Right? So gross profit is sales. Sales is 189,700. Then the cost of sales is 135,500. All over sales, which is 189,700, right? Times 100. Is equal to? So 189,700 minus 135. 500 is equal to 54 200 divided by 189 700 times 100 that is 28 comma 57 percent right that is your gross profit on 10 over and then for business B carriage on purchases key let me show us a uh, erase this Almost done. Almost done. Okay. Let's continue. Business C. We are looking for letter H, which is the carriage on purchases. We are given the cost of goods available. Right? So we know that. We know that to get the cost of goods available, we must say opening stock plus purchases plus carriage and purchases is equal to cost of goods available, right? So the opening stock here is 48,000 and then the purchases. One one five thousand. The carriage is not given in the letter H. Cost of goods it is one sixty nine thousand. So we just have to transfer all of this to this side. So this is going to give you one sixty nine thousand minus one one five minus. 48,000, it is going to be 6,000. So this means that the carriage on purchases is 6,000, right? And then closing stock. So the closing stock, we are looking for closing stock. So, but then what we know is that opening stock plus the purchases plus the carriages minus closing stock is equal to cost of sales, right? So we can just say that cost of sales is equal to cost of goods available because the cost of goods available they are made up of opening stock plus the purchases plus the carriages right and then minus the closing stock right so the cost of sales they are 130,000 
equal to cost of goods available on 69,000 clothes in stock, which is letter I is not given, right? So we just have to transfer this here. So we are going to have 130,000 minus 169,000. This is going to be 39,000, negative 39,000. So negative I. So therefore I is equal to 39,000. So therefore the closing stock is 39,000. Okay. And then we are not given J. So J is a gross profit. So how do we get the gross profit? Gross profit is the sales minus cost of sales. So the sales, they are 208,000. Cost of sales, it's 180,000. So therefore, your gross profit is equal to 208,000 minus 180,000. That is 78,000. Right? Then now we're looking for K. So K is a gross profit on cost of sales. So gross profit on cost of sales. Gross profit on cost of sales. So the gross profit here is 78,000. Right? All over cost of sales, which is 180,000 times 100, right? Which is equal to 100, which is equal to 60%. Okay, and then letter L, gross profit on 10 over. The gross profit is 78,000, 10 over the sales, 208 times 100 is equal to 78,000 divided by 208 times 100 37,5% that is your